planning a trip to Ashkaret Hotel Mexico and or the Ashkaret parks. If so, you nailed it on the planning and I am so excited for you. Hello, I'm Tracy with an I and I just returned from Ashkaret Hotel Mexico and several of the parks. I cannot wait to go back already. It was a game changer for me. Here I'm going to give you some of the top 10 items that I am so glad that I bought and brought because they made a huge difference in our vacation. Ashkaret Hotel is so diverse in the activities that you can do and it requires certain pieces of clothing or just products in general that you will definitely utilize throughout your vacation there. Also, stick around for an unexpected bonus of a couple of items that I brought home with me and am excited to share with you. First off, let me just tell you that Ashkoret Hotel Mexico is hands down phenomenal. There is so much beauty at this resort. The service is top notch. This is truly a five diamond resort. The fact that you have this enormous resort that you can literally get lost in and multiple adventure resorts that you can go to where you're zip lining, you're swimming in underground cenotes, you're swimming with stingrays or snorkeling. It's endless as to what you can do. Okay, back to my original reason for this video. Number one is the camera case, the water camera case. You will honestly spend so much time in the water if you are going to the Ashkaret parks, which you have to if you're staying at Hotel Ashkaret. It would be silly not to. You can check on my previous video where I have all the links for these. You can just click and buy. You get two of these per purchase. Mine is the Pro Case. Um, it comes with a lanyard so you can wear it in the water and just do your videos from your phone. Definitely do the water test before you actually go into the water to make sure it works. It's just got simple release mechanisms on here. Um, the sound is actually really well from our phones. So I'm really impressed. Waterproof fantastic, a must have for capturing memories while you're in the water. Number two, ladies, this is for you. The swimsuit with leggings. If you plan on spending a lot of time outside in the sun, this is great for your extra sunburn protection. Leggings keep you a little extra cool versus drying off right away. But if you plan on doing something like um, the zip lines or there's a lot of water slides, I saw a lot of gals in just their little regular swimsuits and they, they were a little sore from wearing the straps. If you are doing the zip lines, you can do up to 10 of them and over time that's going to rub. So highly, highly recommend these adorable little leggings. Following that, number two, so glad I brought, is multiple swimsuits. Do not overpack the way I did. You do not need multiple dresses or pieces of clothing a day because if you are going to the parks, you're going to be wearing water gear for most of your day. You'll be dressing up in the evening. You'll probably wear a little coverlet or something fun in the morning for your breakfast but most of the time you're in swimsuits. And who wants to put on a slightly wet swimsuit from the night before? Not this girl. I got these from Target, um, these cute little skirt swimsuit. They do have, you know, covering underneath and lining. And if you, are like me and you just don't want to be flaunting your thong all day this is a lot more comfortable for me um 
it's cute and also again you know if you're doing a lot of activities just in and out of the water a little more fashionable and comfortable for us middle agers so that was number three the multiple number four this is for everybody and yes we went to an all-inclusive five-star resort but someone did get an upset stomach if you know what i mean we think it was from one of the buffets that we had at night in another park um almost all four of us ate very similar but this one person ate just something a little different you never know what it is that does it but i am so glad that i brought these probiotics. I tried to get us to take these the entire time and especially when our person had upset tummies. I made sure that we kept up with this during the time there and even coming home just to boost our internal gut strength. This is Saccharomyces boulardii. I got it from Natural Grocers. I just trusted the professionals, you know, there's probiotics everywhere, but they said this is highly recommended for traveling. So why question the experts? Number five. Yes, this is an all-inclusive resort and that includes all you can eat and drink. And so we had one night out of six where we had fun. We hung out at their bar. We listened to the mariachis. We listened to the local Mexican band. We danced. And I'm so glad I brought Hangover Formula. It's a thing. Why not have this in your everyday cabinet, right? It's all natural. This is also from Natural Grocers. And it's just got a bunch of herbs in it. Um, so... You're not putting anything gross in your body. I mean, you just spent a whole evening probably doing that. <laughs> On this vacation, you're go, go, go. You're welcome. Number six, a must. Your water shoes. You cannot go to Ashkarat without buying these. They are all over Amazon. The link's in my video. And as you can see, water easily comes through here, so these aren't gonna weigh you down. These were very comfortable for all of us, and I wore these nearly every single day. Ashkara isn't just a man-made water park like you would see normally in the States. It's natural, and there's rocks underneath the rivers, and Sometimes you can touch the bottom, sometimes you can't. Um, they are sharp sometimes as well, and you don't wanna be swimming around with chopped up Tootsie. They've got the easy adjusters. It's just simple slip-on and they dry really quickly. They're, they're very light. Definitely grab some of these before you go on any water vacation. Number seven, with that in mind, definitely bring your waterproof band-aids. Uh, someone in our group did start feeling a hot spot and just having those waterproof band-aids with you in your locker is an easy go-to. Oftentimes the locker rooms are in the middle of the parks. So instead of just having to search for a medical aid center, you know you have them. Um, if you have pockets you can keep them in your you know zipped up pocket with you you don't want to walk around a huge resort with an ouch every time you step if you do get to that point number eight sunscreen the mineral based reef friendly but it was so nice having the spray we brought you know the separate little facial one um both of our parties brought a spray and the squirt on. But when you have like the squirt on, those mineral-based ones make you look a little ghosty. And so having the spray was just really easy because you're putting it on all the time, especially if you've got skin like this. And one that we brought was the Pacifica, the coconut glow. It gives you a nice bronzy touch. 
And there are several other brands that are going to be refriendly that don't have that bronziness to it, but it's just so easy to do the spray versus the squirt and schmear. Also, my face was not super happy with putting sunscreen on it all the time, so bring the zit cream. It helps. Number nine are organizers. Another awesome purchase from Amazon. There's multiple bags of these, all different sizes. You have a, a shoe bag in there, which was great for our wet water shoes. And at the end of the trip, you throw your wet clothes in one bag, you're dry in another, you're dirty in another, you're clean in another. And it just gives you a lot of extra space when you have these compartments. As we were coming to back to the airport, the bus driver pulls my bag out and out explodes my suitcase and all of my personal items, which thank goodness I had bags and didn't have undies all over the airport parking lot. I highly recommend that organizers are good for all sorts of travel. You'll have them forever. You just look like a packing pro. And number 10, it's kind of a duh, but I'm so glad I thought about it is a hat. Not just a visor, but an actual, like a baseball cap. You're outside all the time and you're gonna get pounded straight down. So protect your scalp and your forehead. That's where I got a lot of sun. And it honestly, on the like second to last day, it was painful. Um, I'm so glad I did have that extra head protection and be smart when you're on vacation. Protect that one layer of top skin that you have. You don't want to spend your entire vacation catering to an icky, painful sunburn. Okay, it's time for the bonus section, which I am so excited about. So glad I found these two products and brought home with me because Ashkara is the type of vacation you don't want to end. You want to keep those good vibes going when you come home. And you will notice when you walk into the resort, into their open lobby, it smells magical. I became obsessed with the smell. When you come home, your clothes smell like Ashkaret. And I kept asking the ladies in the area, what is that smell? What are you pumping into this area? I want it in a bottled container to take home. Luckily, my sweet boyfriend found the smell in the boutique. They literally do bottle it up and you can take it home. I brought home the room spray of Eshkaret. I'm so obsessed with it that I'm practically wearing it as a perfume. I spray it on my clothes and it's the Kopali. There are a couple um, room spray fragrances in the boutique. I wish there was smell-o-vision because I would spray this for you, but every spritz is precious. And my second bonus item is the story of the genius man behind this Eshkaret group. It's called Shuenos. Eshkara is spelled with an X, as you know. It's Mayan, so everything is Esh. Um, this essentially means dreams, like if it was sueños. And Miguel Quintana Pari is the uh, genius man behind this. And they just translated this into English. And I found this book at the Shenses Park. And it's called The Story of the Dreams Behind Eshkara, the best park in the world. I agree. And this man is really cool. I'm just in the beginning of the book. Um, it's colorful, there's pictures. He gives you a song on each page that is a part of his life that inspires him. I just can't wait to keep reading this and get to know this man. Um, I'm so inspired by him. You look at this hotel and this park and 
Ashkara is growing. He is actually wanting to build more in other areas. After you experience Ashkara, there's nothing like it. I just feel like there's not going to be anything else is awesome. So if you have a wonderful time at your vacation, grab the Schwenyos book and um, just get to know this man. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. Put your questions down below. I wish you a fantastic time at Ashkara. Please let me know what your favorite adventures were of the park. And I should have other videos as well with the bio restaurant and picture collaborations of the food that we had. Oh my gosh, the food is so good. You're gonna have a ball. Peace and blessings to you. Remember to make time to live life while you're also making a living. Happy adventuring.